friends and welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today we're in the Happy Nietzsche. This is last week. Not a lot got done. I really didn't come in here much last week. I just basically was going out of my micro and my B6. So here's this week. Now you see this. I got this from Wegmans. It's a notepad. So I was debating whether because it's a little short of being a full um, page. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is tape it on. Let me move her to one of my file photos. So here's the whole pad. This is how it comes. Um, I, re I got it from the grocery store, which is Wegmans. And I just was like, oh, I think that'll make perfect in my Fobonichi. Y'all, why I glued these pockets so tight? So, anywho... I'm like, I want to use that next week in my Fobonichi. So, here she is. Let's see what we can do with her. What I've done is I've already marked off where I want to um, have my lines. And I figured this away. I could still put boxes here, have a positive message. So, what I think I'm going to do is once I get it back in the holes... I'm just going to line them up and tape them. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'll do. So, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm doing is just taking my Stay Below marker, and this is in pink, as you can see, and I'm just outlining the page because that's just about how short the memo page was of being like perfect classic half a classic um half notes so i'm taking my tape and i'm just lining the holes up i did hole punch these myself with my happy planner hole punch and it's just a little bit more my tape was running out and i just want to get that last little bit on there so i decided to go ahead and just draw straight lines across practicing <laughs> for when i get my um journal so that i won't need a ruler but i still end up kind of using a ruler a little bit just to line the side of the page just to outline it just so that you know that it is days of the week so and then i wanted to do like some black washi but then i was like no so i decided to kind of shadow those boxes i wanted the pink boxes to look a little shadowy so i'm just taking some of my um this is like a gray of the Stabilo, Stabilo pins, I'm just adding a little shadow to them to make them look a little more, I don't know, realistic a little bit. So I go around the corner just again to just kind of give it a little bit of um, shadow effect. So still in my little bit pin bag here, I take this black and I was going to just go ahead and color the whole thing in black, but I figured just to go ahead and just give it a little bit of depth just to outline it just a little bit. These markers are really great, by the way. Both of them, the felt tip and the um, fine tip, they work perfect. And also, I guess if you um, journal or bujo or what have you, this is perfect. So I decided I just didn't like it like that, which I could have left it like that. But I decided to use some of my Simply Gilded, wash, Simply Gilded washi tape just to put at the top just to give it a little dimension because i felt like it looked like a notepad <laughs> i don't know so i add a little bit over the up under her to kind of take away the fact that it looks like a notepad so this is what i started to do and then i thought that made it look really girly and i was like you know we got the little lady here she has a little purse you know i wanted to be really girly and i thought about framing it and i said you've gone too far yoshida don't do that and so i just go back into doing my regular boxes and i'm going to put in my date so i'm looking for a pen y'all i got these pens from the dollar tree oh, i love them so i'm just like pen testing right now so i'm writing in my days of the week and um looking for the dates because i could not remember the dates so i'm putting those in just making sure that i'm clear and i said since it's girly the best book to go to to make it really girly is the wrong wrong accessory books so that's what i'm doing i'm going into those two wrong wrong accessory books and one of them is like a mm, kind of notepad uh 
what is it? Yeah, sticky notes. But in the back, there are some girls. There are shoes. And all that just reminded me of just being girly. That's what's girly to me. Um, in the comment section, let me know what does what does girly look like to you? I don't know. Girly to me is pink. It's pretty. Or just your favorite color. Heels, purse, perfume, wallets. I don't know. I just love... I'm just... It's funny because... <laughs> I'm laughing because I love girly things, but growing up, I played with paper dolls, but I was also a tomboy. I like to just play in the dirt. I like to just play with the boys and play basketball and all that stuff, but I started carrying a purse, I think like ninth grade in high school, and it was a wrap. I still played by sports, but I loved everything girly. So yeah, purses and perfumes, shades and heels all that just reminds me all the accessories remind me of just girly girl so i was going to add some boxes but i thought it just kind of took away from my little girly theme and i just didn't want to overcrowd it so i just found some more shoes and kind of just stuck them in there and i believe that i'm going to pull up one of the yeah i'm going to pull up this box because i'm like uh, -uh i just want to leave it real nice classy and simple so i hope you guys enjoy this and don't forget in the comment section let me know what is girly to you and I will see y'all soon. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So what I did was, of course, glue this page down. I made a background, decided to make it pink to match over here my boxes. I went ahead and did a little shadow boxing. And also, I just wanted it to look really girly. And I knew the perfect book that gives you real girly. You can get some of your um, African American girl dolls in there. So I used the wrong, wrong sticker book for my little elements of shoes, purses, and uh, things like that. And I really, really. Um, love this spread i didn't want the boxes to be kind of perfect because i just wanted them to be a little shadowy so i got a little deeper here matter of fact let me color this in a little bit more oh that was the wrong one shoot i must have put up the other one well anyway here we are <laughs> we are um done and i really like this i also use some of my simply gilded um foiled washi this is the I'm trying to think the halo the hollow one, the hollow foil. So yeah, so this is my spread for my um, Happy Nietzsche for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more Happy Nietzsche spreads, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.